Hey you guys, welcome to Vlogmas day number two, 2018. Ah, so excited to bring you this beautiful home decor haul. I have some exciting more pickups. Um, I've been collecting here and there. Some of these things when my in-laws were here, I picked up a few items then. Um, exchanging, returning, all that good stuff. So let's go through most of the items. I've already have them pretty much set up around the home where they will be placed. So let's go and let me share with you some of the items. I'm so excited about it. And look at my sparkly hat. Don't worry about it. I'm being a tad bit extra on Vlogmas day number two, but I hope you are enjoying it thus far. Stay tuned for the video if you're not already subscribed. I would love, love, love to have you here. I am um, all things glam pretty much. Beauty, home decor, uh, you know, cleaning. I'm here for all of that. So if that's the type of lifestyle video you're interested in, please join me. I would love, love, love to rock out with you on this beautiful journey that I'm on. Um, and if you're already subscribed, please make sure your bell notification is on. Hopefully I'll be able to get up a video every single day um, here coming this December. We're almost down to the end of this year. Anyways, let's go to the home decor haul. All right, you guys, I think this has to be one of the most exciting pickups that I have this thus far. Like seriously, I fell in love. Okay, so originally, this wasn't the one I had. I had a cheaper version. Now I'll show you that one too because I still have it. This is from Home Goods. It's a beautiful fur throw. I absolutely love it. Oh, here's it. Still one of the little things in there. I love, love, love it. The color gradients. It's beautiful. It has the browns, the grays. You can even see the undertones of the lighter creamy color. It's super duper soft. It has a gray suede microfiber um backing on there absolutely beautiful i left the tag on it so you guys can see so the original retail value was 138 dollars i picked it up for 59 bucks 59.99 or something like that this is the actual name um this is the company that made it it's a 50 by 60 so, um, probably like 70% off when, um, with the home goods price, absolutely worth every penny of it. It just looks so beautiful. It, when you just style it, it stays, it doesn't move. It doesn't slip. I love the weight. I think that's what's making it the quality. It's beautiful. Okay. So I just put it at the end of my bed. I'm still playing around with, um, the pillows to match it, but it matched well with my fur rug. And I left my bed simple so you can see the bed and it's without any pillows so you wouldn't dis get distracted with the throw. So you see how beautiful that is. I love, love, love it. Okay, let me share the second option with you. This one is by, let me put it up here. This one is by Sahari or Tahiri Home. Um, and it comes in a little gift box. Super cute um, gift idea as well. So this is, I try to save that so you guys can see how it comes. It comes in a black little box like this. This was half of the, this was $29.99. And this was $59.99. But you can already see the difference in the color shade. You see the difference. It's not, it doesn't have enough gray for me. Um, originally I thought it would work, but it's still a nice, great idea. That's why I didn't take it back. It still has the same idea on the backing. Look at the, the two similar backings. Very, very similar. So, this is just a cheaper version of it. It's not as plush as this one, but you can get the same look for less. So, that's one reason I'm going to keep this one as well. I may put this one out in my living room, or I may even style it over there on my bench whenever I get that together. So, I thought it was still worth the keep. $29.99 and this one was $59.99. All right, so it just depends on, um, you know, your mojo. All right, let's move on. I have some pillows that I have bought. I think I'm going to go and exchange them. Let me get them for you. All right.
Alrighty, these pillows are by Ugg, believe it or not. Super, super duper soft. It's just they're a little bit giving me some pinky vibes, and I'm not liking it. Um, it has a leather tab right here. I love, love, love the size of them. They're super soft. But originally, I had the Ugg pillows first before I had this blanket. Um, so that's why they're there. I've been trying to make it blend. Maybe if I find a pillow that can go in the middle to match here then it'll be um, a little better balance but again they're by Ugg they're a bit pricey because of the quality and the texture on them so well worth it oh look at you can see my handprint um super duper soft I love it um they were uh, $59.99 a piece for each pillow again very pricey um the retail it doesn't tell me it's not a retail value on here, but they're just completely nice for, I mean, I tell you this quality is everything. It is super soft. Um, I'm still thinking about it. I may go exchange these out or return them or do something like that because I cannot um, get it to work exactly how I want it. Because I know this, this throw is staying here for the winter season, honey. This will be there. So I'm not quite sure about it, but again, they're about ugh. Let's move on. Right above my bed, I found these three picture frames, mirror picture frames at that. And I thought this would be a perfect addition above our bed. It's, um, these are eight by tens. Let me step back so you can see what I can see. Alrighty, so that's on the pictures up there. And you know, I have this one over here with the curtain. So if I step back and you see, of course, I'm going to hang them on the wall. Just set them there just to give you a visual idea of how they will look. Okay. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about those three pictures. Um, to be honest, Mr. He wasn't a fan of this idea. He told me I needed to put one large picture, but I thought it would be competing with this one. So I like the idea of just putting um, three little pictures or whatever. Let me share with you. I'll go ahead and since it's in here I was gonna go take these posters and cut them up in different little um, Things and just place them In the picture this poster is from Hobby Lobby. I have a few of these posters for different picture frames um, So I wanted a little more of the black in the picture not necessarily the big white roses um, Not the, they're not roses, but you know what I mean? So that's my idea is to hang those up with these, this poster and cut them up, you know, so it can fit in there. So it can bring out. Because I was looking for another black poster like that from Hobby Lobby. Could not find one. Alrighty. Moving on. You guys may have saw these lamps a few times already in my other videos. They are like a mercury glass. Inexpensive, but yet Simple and chic. They're doing the job. They're doing exactly what I need them to do. From Ross. These lamps originally $29.99. Um, and I got two. But I ended up getting some of these little plates were sitting on the shelf in Ross. So they took like 15% off. So I only paid like 22 bucks for this lamp. And the other one was like 24 bucks Because only one was off of them. I came home. They were not cracked. They're not damaged. I have every single plate. On the bottom, I just put some glue on there, and they're all back on there. So, there's one. And then here is the other lamp. Perfect. They, hey, they, I love the price. They doing what they need to do. The little mercury. They actually do really well with this um, Pier 1 um, chest that I have here for right now. So, yeah. That's, that's that. The dome. Perfect size, shape, match so well with this picture that was already existing in here and the curtains so everything is seamlessly coming along and those three additions up there i think that's going to be awesome i think that's all for the bathroom and oh no i did share um this little candle um home goods it was 7.99 so Floral Essential is the brand, and I just love the packaging, really, if nothing else. It's so beautiful, so glam, so chic. All right, let's move on. Pier 1, let's talk about Pier 1. Okay, so originally, you guys know, I had these pillows. I thought about exchanging them. I ended up just keeping them. I like the 
quality um, of them. I feel like I can get a great a lot of use out of them so i just held on held on to them all right went back found these absolutely love 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 them they're exactly what i need the metallic -y. now the quality i can tell that these are not going to last forever just because i can tell they're going to be snagging if you're not careful so they definitely um are not good good as this right here but they're still doing the job so i have two here on the couch and i just left them here together um, yeah, so that's what it is for right now. Of course, we still don't have uh, our permanent sofa, but the one that's on right now, this brown one that's temporary here, it's working out just fine. Yep, so let me step back a little bit so you guys can see them. Uh oh, I don't want to step on nothing. So, there you have it. Super cute. All right, next on the list. Let's talk about these picture frames right here. These will go right on this little open nook that we have in the kitchen. Nicole Miller, absolutely a great score on this. 11 by 14 mirrored picture frames can be so, so, so pricey. So when I found these, 11 by 14 for um, $19.99, I could not pass it up because I was originally looking on Amazon anyways because I knew I would need some type of mirror here reflecting now these will probably get changed and altered before they're officially done but I do have a set of three look what he put himself up there being funny but I went on and bought a black mat and I'm trying to see if um that will look right I'm not going to keep that picture in there I'm just changing now just to get the contrast or whatever but I really, 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 really do like this beige. Um, so I may have to change that out and find somewhere else another time to use it. But I like it because it match, um, if you see right in here, it match that vase, that beige brings up. So I like the contrast because it's here in the same vicinity. You know, I have it. But the black looks nice against with all those words and stuff. So it's providing contrast and all that. Yep. So, this is still a work in progress. Yeah, they're super cute, super cute. Okay, so let's talk about um, the stuff that I got out of Hobby Lobby. So, one of the glass, that are, those frames I just showed you, um, one of the glass, glass had cracked. So, I had to get a replacement glass, inexpensive. I thought I was going to have to get a frame shop, have them to do it. But, they sold these. So, if you ever break your glass in a picture frame, you can go right to Hobby Lobby and get a replacement. This was like 10 bucks or something. And, of course, you can use a coupon, all that good stuff. So, very inexpensive to replace your glass. And then, these are the black mat. Um, if I do decide to change them out, um, $4.99, of course they'd be on sale and all that stuff, but these are the mats that I may go ahead and change the tan burlapy one out. Let me get that one. So that, this is the original, um, color here. I really like that, um, but the black one is fine as well, so. There you have it, and look at this beauty right here, this poster. Originally, I wanted to find another large picture frame like the one I just showed you at my bedroom that's on that wall to frame this out, but I may go ahead and um, cut out the different countries like this. Um, into three sections if I can and go ahead and frame it like that and put it on that wall the wallpaper wall That may be nice too because it have a silver background with black. So I think this may be a perfect addition Let's see what it look like with this one See, yeah, I need that black for that contrast or whatever Alrighty, so that's that um, Out of Hobby Lobby posters. I got so many different posters. I've been cutting them up like here was another poster that was, um, I was trying to get, find that had black background. So I had cut this one. This was supposed to be a chandelier. Um, originally I had this one. Definitely not enough contrast. I didn't want any like pictures. I just needed like, just, just like a p art, just nothing, you know, but neither one of those are going to work. So I'm hoping this may work. I'm not sure. Back to home goods, home goods, home goods. 
Tahiri Home again. This one we got when my in-laws was here and we went to Home Goods. It um, is a mirrored foul box, okay? So originally that's what I thought I was about to start using it for. Let me show the lid. The lid comes off like that. So I start putting folders and fouls and all that stuff in there. But you know what this is gonna be for? I'm gonna take all this stuff out and this my cable box and all that stuff i'm gonna put it right here so at first i thought i was i was about to start making me a little mirrored frame right there but since it has holes on the side oh let me get it okay since it has holes in the side right here i'm just run the cords from out of there and place all of the boxes and all that stuff in the inside and um, place it against this wall so we won't see that the cable box and all that stuff then the router who wants to see that nobody and then just put this beautiful lid just like that on the top of it so and then we just have the cords coming out and it'll still be able to breathe how awesome is that Sticking with home goods, look at this beauty right here, super large. Now I can't, will say, some of these little things, these little pieces have been coming off. I had to glue a few of them back on. Um, even when I got them from, got it from the store, it was pieces in the bag. Um, candle holder, I'm guessing, I already have a smaller one, but this one is so large, let me try to pick it up without. So it's super duper large. Yeah, you can even see like one is missing right there. I have to find it and put it in there. But this is how it looks. So cute. And I have a few candles. The Bath & Body Works candles are too, um, just a tad bit too large. So if I did remove one of these, then they could sit on there like that. Um, so I may do that and just glue the flowers so they won't stand up. They can go back. So, Home Goods, $39.99 for this super large one. All right. Now, moving on. Let me move this stuff out the way. I picked these up a little while ago. I think even my own, right after my other home decor haul. I have both of them. I found these bookends, and they're not the iridescent, they're the crystal clear ones. I'm so happy about that. So, look. It all this. Let me move my tennis shoes out the way. Okay, so look at all these cuties right here. How cute. So originally in my living room, I thought I was going to add a bookshelf. So that's why I was adding some of this stuff to hold up the books, you know. But I've been sitting them on my coffee table for now as little decor pieces. But how stinking cute are they? Nice and heavy with weight. This, that's the price for them, $14.99 for these bookends. They're crystal, made in China. Super cute, aren't they? All right, so I've just been sitting them here on this little coffee table, just like that. Yep, I haven't quite found a home for this one right here, but I'm sure I will in the very near future. So you guys all remember my cutie right here, this reef. Yes, so I went on and found the Garland. I only found the one, super cute. Very, very messy with glitter. But look at how cute she is. Super cute. I wish that was long enough. I definitely would drape it over the curtain rod, but that's, <laughs> That's all it is. And I went to another Home Goods and I could not find another garland like this. So I'm gonna have to come up with plan B because that's not gonna work. Um, yeah. Alrighty, so I told you guys my little obsession with this color right now. I love it. So found these at Hobby Lobby. These have been here for a little bit. I am going to make a reef out of them. Just haven't got around to them, shatterproof. Love the color, and of course, it's probably gonna go in my bedroom or bathroom, but I'll share that whenever I get it done. Hopefully, it turned out cute. 
more stuff more things for home goods a raft lauren candle it's in pond smells really nice um so yeah it'll fit really nice in that lotus can um lotus flower i used to buy these little um air diffusers all the time this one is lemon grass ginger it was only $5.99. I'm going to play, probably put this on my dresser just to keep the air, you know, to smell it nice and all that good stuff. Super cute. Love it. Ross. Ross, Ross. I had a few more things from Ross. Oh, some candy. Gotta have that Lindor. Used to eat these all the time in Germany. Yeah. I did not know they sold Kefflein there, so... Like I told you, I was trying to get, because I had a lot of German pots or whatever, so I've been transitioning and just buying pots here and there. So this is probably like our third or fourth pot I've picked up thus far. Um, but this is the only reason somebody had put it down as I was checking out. I didn't even look, I didn't even know they sold this type of stuff in Ross. Um, somebody had it at the register. Some lady behind me picked it up, and she put it down, and then I picked it up, and I didn't put it down. I think she was a little upset about it, <laughs> her loss. Because it was only $14.99. Um, and it's a nice smaller pot. So we'll have to pull out the large. Now I've never um, used the all stainless um, in a while. I've always gotten the one that has the coating on them. So we'll see how this one cooks up. Because I love the other one that I've picked. And that was all clad the last one I picked up. But this one is by Kefalon. Which is all the same. I think this one is a step down. If I'm believing what... If y'all watched Style by Casanova, she raised about Kefalon and All Clyde. That's kind of how I um, became familiar with that brand anyways. Back in Germany, I used to watch her um, kitchen hauls and stuff. So, I went on to pick this up because of that. Um, and I'm really enjoying the All Clyde, so we'll see how Kefalon does. Alright, I think we're almost to the end of this decor haul. Let me make sure, and we'll come back. Here is another fur... I ended up with three because I wasn't quite sure when I was buying them the style and um the look I was going for. I'm definitely probably not going to keep this one that came out of Pier 1. Um, this is the name. It's a little smaller, I believe. Oh, no. it's I think it's the same. Um, but good. If you want to give a great um, gift idea, co-worker or someone like that. Yeah, they were um, definitely appreciated. They have, I think, one or two other colors as well oh these came out of hobby lobby found these i already had some from the dollar tree years ago but i went on and got them they were half off said it were like three bucks for them I'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do with them but they're cute let's talk about these cuties right here so i went on and found some towels i thought may go in my bathroom they're okay they're not nothing extravagant they're just some snow flat snowflakes that has you know rhinestones or whatever that i can hang there for now for dirt just decorations so it came um a pack of two they're little hand towels and then i found a little washcloth um and they i totally could have diy this myself but since they were already out and, you know, they already have all this sparkly stuff, $7.99 for a pack of two. And I would just think I could layer, layer those on top of the snowflake or whatever. So I may do that just like that and put it in my bathroom. We'll see how it goes. I did find finally these dish towels here. It says, let it snow. Super cute. I really like these. I thought about using these as um, decorative towels instead of putting them in the um, kitchen. This one is just a plain sparkly one. Definitely could DIY and add some snowflakes on here. So I think I may still go that route. I may put all of them up there and style it. Like put these two and then let the um, the let it snow. Maybe I'll put it on top like this. Just ha and style it like that. I don't know. We'll see. But. Nonetheless, all this stuff came from Home Goods, and this lettuce snow was only like $4.99. Yeah, $4.99 for a set of two kitchen towels. Look at this cutie right here. This is a tree skirt. Um, I'm not probably going to use it as a tree skirt. I'm just going to use it for something. It's super cute. You know, right up my element with crystals, and it's a snowflake. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's super cute. It is by... Oh, maybe I took the tag off. I think it was 20, 
20 bucks. Oh, there you go. Again, it's by this line here. It's a 52 inch. You know, it was $29.99. And look. You can even style this and make it a like a little blanket or so. Super cute. This little sleigh, I found it at Hobby Lobby. Not the cutest thing ever. But I feel like it'll be cute if I can DIY it. Or if not, it can stay right here on this little console table that I have. Because it match in with the um, pine cones and all that stuff. I just found this um, um, garland that I had from last year. This was really inexpensive. Oh, uh, It was half off. I think it was 10 bucks. But it's metal. But I feel like I can do a lot with it. So, there you have it. Let's talk about poinsettias. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite flowers. I buy them every single year. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Luckily, this year at Lowe's, we went in there and they were half off. So, I ended up getting two. Absolutely love them. Usually, mine's be a tiny bit smaller than this. But I'm so happy that they're this large. So, I'm going to get these repotted or something like that. And put them out. They're beautiful. I love them. And I love the fact that they were half off. So, I'm not sure if it was a one day sale or not. But my Lowe's had them on Saturday the 1st. And they were half off. Alright. Beautiful. Alrighty. I found some more crystal candlesticks you guys. You know or may not know. I've already have a few similar to these. I picked these up uh, quite a, while, um, a bit ago. These are $14.99. I have two more sitting here on my dining table i'm going to change this out very very soon but they're here i have to let me get the other one i'll show you the other. okay so here are a few more that i've already had that i got when i first got back to here to the states um all of them for home goods but you see they have just a tad bit different I, there's really no rhyme or reason for me to pick up more i just love the little shape of them they're super cute god knows i don't need any more candlesticks but I really like this one. This one is my favorite. I haven't saw any more um, of this shape, but I've been seeing all these little fat balls. I'm not going to get no more of these, but if I do see any more, I may go ahead and get a few more of those. But yeah, these are my newest ones here. Are they all the same price? Oh, this one was only $12.99. Okay. And then they made this one $14.99, and this one was $12.99. So I don't know why they raised the price. I just got these just a few months ago and they didn't make these already $2 more, I guess, because of the holiday season. What a ripoff. But yeah, I played, placed them over here in my little wine, by my wine, um, on my little spin tray. My little, you know, this little Lazy Susan. So this is like my little wine, alcohol -y station right here. So yeah, so cute. Oh, and these little cute... These are ornaments, but I thought they were super cute. Pier 1, they were only like 4 bucks um, or something like that. Maybe 5 bucks. And these are so cute little. I guess you're supposed to put them on your tree. But I just placed them over here. So they had a gold one and a silver. I didn't know which one, so I got both. And they just sit here with my larger one. So cute. And then these we made at the little Pier 1 event. I may get that um, thumbs up or let me know in the comments if y'all still want me to post that. Um, vlog. I sure forgot about it. So I can post it when me and Darnell went to and he made, that's his cup he made and then this is mine I made, okay? But anyways, the candlesticks is what we were talking about and you see how the frames, the candlesticks, everything is pretty much mirrored and blends together. So yeah, so, so, so cute. Alrighty, we're almost at the home stretch. I'm saving the best for last, you guys. At home store, we just picked this up yesterday when I went there and picked up those planters. I'm not gonna sh sure if I'm gonna keep those planters because they're not that cute now that I have them home. But I picked this super cute thing up. Let me take it out the bag. That is super cute. Look at this. Let me put it over here. It's sparkly at home store. It's more than I wanted to pay, but. I couldn't find any more. I walked the store, tried to find a cheaper version. They didn't have it. I love it, love it, love it. Look at this. Ooh, so pretty. $14.99. It's just wrapped in this little piece of burlap. Let's go in the sun. Let's see it sparkle. Oh, maybe. There you go. You can probably see it. But the branches itself are definitely sparkling. So, so cute. I think it's so cute. It should be $7.9.99, not $14.99, but 
what what can you say and then these were only $1.99 um, some sparkly little mini pine cones I'm probably gonna add them into my brooch um, bouquet what do you call that little um, arrangement I have on my coffee table yeah I cannot find the bowl to this I saw the uh, wine bucket but I can't find the actual bowl so I may just put my own bowl in here I don't know but this is like a cake stand and I think I was supposed to have a dome with this but mine's did not have a dome so I think I got ripped off but nonetheless it's sitting here it's a little cake mini cake stand and it has a little feet like that yeah so it's just sitting there. I need to find, I need to take these out. They just been sitting there. I didn't know what else to put in there for right now. But I'm going to get that all cute um, on my center centerpiece. And look, and I just add those little egg, um, pine cones in there. Pine cone. That's cute though. Look at my poncettias. Poncettia? Poncetta? Poncetta. I don't know how to keep on giving it its own name. You guys. This is the end of the video. I'm about to share with you my grand finale. I am over the moon excited. If you would have saw my yesterday vlog, you would have saw me getting the U-Haul truck token this home. I had to have it. It's so large. I did not realize how large it is in this space. But we're going to work it out. I'm not quite sure how we're going to work it out. It's sitting right here. I'm about to turn the camera, share with you this. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thus far. I want to thank you for watching and rocking out with me on this beautiful home decor haul. Stay tuned for the finale. And I will check you guys out. I may post another video later on tonight. But if not, I'll catch you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day number three. Stay tuned. Bye for now. You guys, here she is. Let's welcome her home. She is a beauty, a large and in charge. This beautiful leaning mirror here. Like I said, I didn't realize how big and large she was. I never had a mirror like this ever. So over the moon happy. I've been searching for one. I just did not want to pay. Just because we move too much. And these little movers, they are so disrespectful and they break your stuff. So that's why I did not want to invest. Now when we move, buy a house and all that, of course, that's a whole nother story. But with this military life, you got to be careful how much you invest in this stuff. Because they will break it. They don't care. They have no chill. Anywho, this it's her. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. I'm trying to get all of it in the frame, but she's so large. So I think she's 84 inches tall and four feet wide. Let me go up so you can see the detail. Look at the frame. And then it has multiple layers. It's like a domini. There, you can see it like that. How beautiful. It's like one, two, three, like four different mirrors in one. If you can see, there's the first frame, that's the second one, it's like four. I love it. When I walked in, I didn't even walk through the whole home goods. We walked in the door, I saw this in the front, I immediately stopped in my tracks, Dornell was in the car, I had to go get him. Whew, I had to have her. This was $2.99, not bad at all. And I told you, I was just looking at the Z Gallery um, catalog yesterday, and these are going for $800, $900. Yes. So she's home. This is where she's going to be housed for now. I have no idea. I pulled that little end off, and you can see I still have the back end because we just got her home last night. I'm not quite sure. Um, how to style her at this point. I don't know. She's really large and in charge and she's kind of taking up most of the um, Wall right here. I don't have too much clearance space as you see. I don't have that much um, Over here, so I'm not quite sure and of course this is not the um, TV that goes in here It's still this here and this is the mirrored box right here that I'm gonna add all of our electronics and router box and all that stuff it'll go into this box and so they'll be sitting by each other they'll be little sisters or so okay that's it that's it let me know in the comments you guys what do you guys think of this beauty right here <laughs> i know she may be over the top for some but honey i'm over the top you can see my hat i'm just that person 
stay tuned like I said give me a big thumbs up let me know if you love this mirror I have to you know what I always wanted to do you know front gate how they always style their oversized mirrors I don't know if I'll be able to do it this year because it takes a lot of reefs and all that but I would love to style this and just have beautiful lights and all that stuff hanging. Oh yeah, that's that's one of my wish lists to style me a mirror like the front gate. If you don't know there, they're like a higher end home decor store. I'm so excited about it. I've just been looking at her all night long. Bye for now, you guys. Love you. Talk to you guys soon. XO until next time. Bye. Me on this YouTube. Will you say what? Why do I have what? So many mirrors in this house. Let's just, let's show the world. Let's show that. One, um, let's see. Two, shiny three, that mirror under there, four. Keep going. Even the light switch is reflective in some way. Light switch, reflective in some way. Come on, let's go. Mirrors just laid around casually. Mirror, 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 there, there. That thing, especially. This thing right here, that thing right there. Even your lamps are mirrored. Over there, the desk thingy by the door. You have a problem. Mm. That's right here, your roof. Let's go. Why do we have to show and put my business in the street, April? Because. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is it? Nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This April. whole house is reflective. April. This, anything to say for yourself? April. There is such thing as too much. This clock. I like mirrored things. It makes me happy. Why? Accept it. Okay. Okay. There's a point. Where it likes. I like shiny items. So accept it. Enough. This one is one of my favorites. He's a cutie too. He's a cutie. Bye, April. Mm -hmm.